I just don't have any energy. And um, that's fine. It makes sense. I haven't eaten in five fucking days. What's up? It's a new day. I'm now 90 hours into this fast. Interesting. It's really satisfying to see how close it is to the end goal. So I'm over halfway done. That's really, really exciting. Let's check out my plant. My plant's not doing too well. I haven't been drinking a lot of water. My water intake has gone down dramatically in the past 24 hours. I'm just not feeling as thirsty, so I'm trying to like push myself. All done. Okay, let's see if this turns me. Let's see if this makes my plant happy. Please. Excellent. <laughs> nope. Okay. So I need to drink some more water. I guess I'll put that on my to-do list. So I am now at the end of day four fasting. In six hours, it becomes day five. I'm really excited. I'm really proud of myself for getting this far. This has truly become like a mental and emotional like breakthrough or like journey. I don't know, I just feel so clear headed and I feel like enlightened right now. I just feel really good. My energy is coming back up, but I'm not actually expending it. I've still been like sitting around, laying around. If I'm just standing around doing something, I make sure to sit down and do it. So I'm not being very active, but I do feel more more energetic and better overall. Last night and this morning I felt very very nauseous. I felt like I could puke. I kept feeling like I had to burp but if I did I knew that I would like I don't know try to puke. I don't even know if anything would happen. So I've been very gassy and very nauseated and it was really really annoying. Um, there was a point where I was just looking at the peanut butter tripod. What's left of this peanut butter? I think it's only about like two tablespoons honestly. Um, so yeah, I was really tempted to eat the peanut butter just to stop the nausea, but I didn't. I tried to go to sleep. It was really, really hard. I woke up this morning still nauseated. So what I ended up doing was taking a shot glass full of hot water and I mixed in some Himalayan pink sea salt and some table salt because I couldn't figure out which one to do. The internet told me both things, so I just combined the two. And the salt thing definitely made me feel better. I think that's why I have more energy now, and I think I'm gonna do it again later on today. That's the only thing that has changed, and I feel like that's definitely why I'm feeling a lot better. I weighed in today at 202 point something. I don't know, but that was exciting. I'm glad to see the weight loss pick up a little bit. I was confused as to why I'd only lost five pounds in the first three days. When I do fat fasting, I normally lose eight pounds in the first three days. So I was like really annoyed, but I'm fine now. I didn't do this fast only for weight loss, so I'm not really complaining. I just, I expected more pounds lost at the beginning for how awful it was to go through. But I'm also going to talk about that when I'm done to see if it's really worth it to water fast for weight loss when there are other ways that can give you similar results without torture, you know? Don't get me wrong, I feel good, I'm not hungry, I feel okay, I'm doing, I'm doing good, but it's still not fun. I just have a good amount of self-discipline when I want to use it, so that's the only way that I'm like getting through it truly because I've just told myself you're not eating so it doesn't feel like an option for me so it's not happening but it is hard your body does ache you do see spots if you stand up too fast you do get dizzy you do get nauseous you do get headaches sometimes you can't sleep and it's really awful and most of all it is just so boring to live a life where you're not cooking eating or cleaning or whatever with food. Once you stop eating, you realize how much time you spent thinking about food and cooking food and eating food, that when you don't do it anymore, the, the boredom, the boredom is next level. What else is there? Oh, I'm wearing the bikini that I used for my before picture, and I'm pretty sure I see a difference. I'll just give you a sneak peek. So this is what I'm looking like right now. I don't know, looks kind of different. I have a big belly, so it's not gonna get like too small, 
but it's like a little bit flatter it's flatter here also my top half looks kind of small mm. do, 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 do. I remember when I used to fill out this bikini I'm trying to think of any other symptoms I have everything's going fine truly I'm just hanging out watching YouTube videos getting lost in YouTube drama it's a lot of fun Oh, you definitely can tell on video because I looked at some of the other footage, but my skin started to freak out like on day two, I think. And it's just now starting to calm down, but I don't know what that was about. My skin normally doesn't melt down unless I'm on my period. Plus, I haven't worn makeup in days, so it was just kind of strange that my skin broke out. I don't believe in the whole detox and toxins thing, but it has to be about fasting, like, I don't know. Maybe the gunk in my face just wanted to race out. I have no clue. Oh, yes! Good. I'm proud of myself. I only need two more glasses of water for today. It's 3.20 p.m., so I think I can definitely do that. Alrighty, so day four, going smoothly. I'll let you know if anything happens. I really want to shower. I mean, that's not... The word. Oh yeah, I remember the word. <laughs> I really want to try to like chill out in the bath, but first I have to clean the tub. So I'm gonna attempt to do that, and after it's clean, I'll take a break, and then I will have a bath. looks thinner at this angle. I like it. So after my bath, I was actually feeling pretty good. I just hung out and then I started editing the first part of this water fast vlog series, whatever. So I was editing it and I didn't realize how bad off I was on day three. Like, it was rough, I couldn't move my body. It didn't hurt, it was just sensitive. Like laying down wasn't comfortable, but I couldn't do anything but lay down because I was just so exhausted and worn out. I'm definitely not as worn out as I was before, but the nauseous feeling hasn't gone away. It's not, I don't feel like I'm gonna puke, but every once in a while my mouth will water a little bit, but I just feel like a frog in my throat or like, it's like right in here behind like my sternum. I guess that's my stomach actually. Um, so yeah, that really sucks. I'm still not hungry, I'm still doing good. I've been watching hella mukbangs. I can't stop, I love them. Um, I watch them even more when I'm fasting, I guess. Um, they're pretty satisfying to watch. I even watched the one that I posted on my other channel like two times because that food was so good but yeah I feel fine I feel better it's just the nausea is really annoying and if it doesn't stop I will definitely be breaking the fast because it just does not it doesn't feel good like it's very unsettling to feel like you could puke for hours and hours and hours on end let alone days on end. I got kind of lucky and found this in a junk drawer. It's lemon ginger caffeine free herbal tea. So hopefully that'll make me feel good. The ginger in there. Also some warm water because I haven't had any tea since earlier today. I'm also going to do another one of those shot glasses full of salt. I can't tell if it worked or not but I feel like it can't hurt like there's no sodium on body right now I'm flushing it all out with water so it can't hurt to get some extra sodium but it is nasty that was nasty kind of intense but honestly not too bad it's kind of nice having another taste in your mouth besides shit, shit breath. I already don't feel nauseous anymore. I'm not gonna get too excited about that though. Oh 
I'm currently using my 600 pound life as a distraction and sipping hot water. It comes and goes if I feel better, if I don't. I'm a little worried I have to break the fast, but I'm gonna chill out, try to sleep, see what happens in the morning. Wow, day five. I'm pleasantly surprised that it's day five. Where did, how did it get here? <laughs> I act like I haven't been miserable for the past two days. Luckily my mouth doesn't taste as much like shit. Ah. Uh. It's time to weigh in. I really, really hope that I'm in Wonderland today only because I kind of bargained with myself that if I hit Wonderland today and I was miserable today that I could break my fast today. Not gonna lie, I did it while I was laying in bed last night, sipping on hot tea, trying not to like have a meltdown, and then my tea spilled all over my bed, but I couldn't move, so I slept in the wet spot. So yeah, I'm just interested in seeing where my weight is at, um, because I'm over this. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day when I first started water fasting, there was this YouTuber named like Sushi Cat New York or something like that. And she was always naked, laying in her bed, like hardly had her boobs covered, talking about her water fasting. I feel like she fasted for like 20, 30 days. I don't even, 45 days? I don't remember. Let me know in the comments if you were around back then. Whew. 112 hours. I'm really happy with how close it is to the end right now. So last night was a rough night as you saw. It was pretty rough. I just felt so nauseous and disgusting and it's just not, it's not a nice feeling. And I, you know, sipped some tea until I was able to fall asleep. And I forgot to screw on the lid completely. Um, this is what I've been drinking my tea out of. It keeps it hot or pretty warm for a while. Um, I didn't realize I hadn't screwed the top back on. So it spilled all in my bed. And I woke up in the middle of the night. I was soaked. Half my bed was soaked. But I like could not do anything about it. So I just kind of laid on top of the wet spot on top of my blanket. I don't even know. It was a rough night, but I woke up feeling okay. It took me a while to get out of bed today. I brushed my teeth. I weighed in today at 220.6. No. I weighed in at 200.6 pounds. So that means I'm only 0.7 pounds away from hitting my goal or the goal that I set um, two months ago when I decided to lose some more weight. So yeah, that's pretty exciting, pretty cool, especially since I'm doing okay right now. If that was my weight and I was still feeling awful today, I would have definitely broken my fast. Yeah, it's a lot about willpower, but it's also a lot about knowing when to stop. If you're feeling awful, break your fast. Like there's a certain hump, you have to get over certain things, but if you truly feel like I'm going to die, I can't take another second of this, break your fast. I don't think that fasting should be that hard. It should be boring, it should be annoying, you should feel tired, but when you're to the point where you like can't think, you're panicking about how you feel, then definitely break your fast. And I felt like I was getting there last night. Also this morning I did another shot glass of salt. This time I used mostly pink Himalayan sea salt with a little bit of table salt. It's, I feel like it does do something. I feel like it does work for something. So yeah, I would look that up, do your research. People suggest different amounts and then magnesium and potassium. So I haven't smoked yet today because I need to film the video really bad. And I'm worried that if I don't film the video first, I'm going to lose all motivation to do it. So I'm like, <laughs> let me just show you this scene. All of my makeup is on my bed because this is where I'm doing my makeup. And then after I do my makeup, I'm going to move to the chair, <laughs> sit down, set up my camera while I'm sitting down, and then film this video. Um, 
I don't know when it's going to be going up. It's about taking CBD. I've been taking CBD for the past two weeks and it's really, really, really helped my anxiety. So I'm going to be doing a review on the CBD oil I've been taking, but like, <sighs> it's so hard. I don't want to do anything. But this is one step of many things that I need to do today because I'm going on a date tonight with my boo thing and I'm pretty sure we'll end up back here. So that means I also need to wash my sheets and my bedding. My room is still pretty clean from when I cleaned it. So I just need to, uh, I gotta do my makeup. I gotta film a video. I have to wash my bedding and dry my bedding and put it on, oh my God. No, actually, I'm gonna just wait for her. I'm gonna just leave it all in a pile in my bed and she'll make it for me because I'm her little princess. She'll make the bed for me, but then also I have to like take another shower and get dolled up to go out. <laughs> Boo. Maybe I won't get dolled up. Maybe this will be the first time she sees me like out of the house, just like wet. I'm out of the house. Cause normally I'm all like cute with my legs or my boobs or both hanging out, you know, so. Maybe today will be the day that she sees me in leggings and a blouse. That sounds really depressing, but maybe it'll be a good test of our relationship. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I'm like, I'm in good spirits. I feel good. I don't feel nauseous. Like I'm doing great. I just don't have any energy and um, that's fine. It makes sense. I haven't eaten in five fucking days. How does one even wear makeup? Like, what the hell am I doing? Like, where is my eyebrow pencil? Wait a second. Doing your eyebrows from this angle is the best thing ever. That's why microblading looks so good. Looking at your eyebrows dead on is, like, not the move. But looking at them from above. That's it. I am currently 141 hours into this fast. As you can see, my status says I'm struggling because I am struggling and I am about to break my fast. Before I do that, I just wanna give you a rundown of yesterday and what's happening today. So yesterday I went on a date with my boo thing. I hadn't seen her in a couple of weeks. If I had, um, I probably would have told her maybe we can't go out, like maybe I'm not in the mood, but I really wanted to see her, so I got out. It was a struggle washing stuff and showering and getting my body all delectable and then like getting dressed. It was a lot. I was sweating a lot of the time. I had to keep sitting down like it was my peak. Luckily, we ended up just hanging out. We watched the Fire Festival documentaries, which are really good. I definitely recommend the Hulu one over the Netflix one, but you should just watch them both. So we just cuddled and watched movies. It was really cute. She's very supportive of me doing a water fast. She has done the master cleanse in the past and she's a vegan now. Um, she's very like health focused, so she understood why I was fasting. And she basically kept trying to force feed me water all night and all morning, but I just couldn't. Like it's gotten to the point where the last thing I want in my mouth is water, hot or cold. I picked up some sparkling water at the store today because I just didn't know what to do. And this morning we slept in till about like 11 and then we just chatted in bed for a few hours and that was really, really nice because that was all the energy that I had. When I'm laying down, I can be, you know, pretty energetic, although I was losing words, like I keep forgetting words and my mind is, you know, pretty foggy. Um, but I was pretty energetic as we were laying down. But then we got up, she went to drop me off at home, but we stopped by the grocery store because she knew that I wanted to break my fast. And in the grocery store, it was really rough for me. I was just bent over the cart, walking at the slowest pace ever. I planned on getting back home, starting um, what I'm gonna break my fast with. I'm gonna make soup, I'll show you. Um, I planned on coming home, starting that, and then hanging out until it was time to break my fast. Didn't happen. I got home and suddenly my stomach was hurting. I felt like I was gonna puke. My mouth just kept salivating. My head started to hurt. Um, it just didn't 
feel good at all. And I actually was getting ready to come downstairs. What time is it now? It's 640 at four o'clock. I plan to come down here. You know when you just kind of like sprawl yourself on a bed or a chair for like a short moment of time because you're like looking at a video or texting or something, but you know you're going to get up. I did that and I ended up falling asleep for over two hours. Like I was so, I was hanging off the side of my bed. The heater was blowing directly up my butthole. Like it was, I'm pretty sure I didn't have, I don't even know. All I know is that I like just, I was knocked. Um, I didn't faint, but I definitely passed out. So I was sitting in my room. So after I woke up a little bit ago, I was just like, damn. I gotta break my fast. So I'm definitely gonna break my fast. I feel like I've gotten pretty close to my goal. So I'm really happy, I'm really proud of myself. I'm not gonna let this be one of those like situations where I'm such a perfectionist that I beat myself up over it or I feel weak. Like I fasted for in, in two hours, I complete six whole days of fasting. So today starts my seventh day. So I think that's not shabby at all. A lot of people can't make it this far. I feel very, very proud of myself. Mentally, I feel good. I feel clearer in a way besides like the fog. Um, but mentally, I feel great. My HS is almost completely gone. That is so exciting. It's such a relief and I promise to myself that I will not poison myself for at least a while, you know. Sometimes I have to eat like spicy stuff or a tomato. Sometimes I just have to go through the pain of a flare up. But um, after working so hard on this fast, I'm gonna be keeping my body as clean as possible. All of the advice that I'm seeing is that this, I should be breaking my fast because I'm feeling awful, I'm having stomach pains, and I'm getting really, really, really close to puking. I've been really holding myself off from puking because I know that there's nothing in my stomach and I'm not in the mood to puke up bile. So um, that's why I haven't puked, but like I am almost there. And most things that I've read said that that's when you know it's time to stop. So yeah, it's time to stop. I got on the scale when I got back today. That was exciting. I will be sharing that in my final results since it is my last day today. By this time, a lot of people feel way more energetic and they felt like a boost of energy and they felt really good. For me, that's not how it is. Um, I definitely could push myself, but I'm not. And I definitely think that maybe that just means a long fast is not for me. Maybe, you know, like three days is for me because I definitely do not feel like this is gonna get any better. It's progressively getting worse. I had to pump myself up to come downstairs for the past 30 minutes. So, um, yep, I'm done and I'm really happy about it. I'm glad to be done. I feel accomplished. I'm ready to eat. I've been thinking about food so much, but I'm not, I'm still not hungry. I'm not hungry at all. All I want food for is because I know when I eat food, these symptoms will stop. And that's why I really want food. So I'm gonna show you what I'm making and then me breaking my fast. And then I guess I'll see you at the results video. So I've got mushrooms, garlic, onions, carrots, two different colors, carrots, celery, I'm gonna go ahead and saute this, but oh my God, this smells so good already. I've never been this attracted to <laughs> raw veggies. Not the onion, the onion's a little bit spicy, but um, as I was cutting the mushroom and the garlic, my stomach just started to, so, oh, I need to sit down. Ugh. I'm just gonna saute these really quick and pop them into, fuck. Um, I'm just gonna leave all this shit in here. I'm not editing this part out. This is like how bad it's gotten. I just can't think about anything. Um, I'm gonna saute these and pop them into my crock pot. Um, I still don't know. I think I might put it on high so that I can eat it tonight. Cause I, I think that I need to eat tonight. I don't have anything else that's really like friendly to break my fast with. Um, I have some almond milk that I think I'm gonna pour a glass of in a second, but yeah, um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let me go cook this stuff. I think I'm gonna bring the chair over there.
Wow, I could smell the soup all the way upstairs. And as I walk downstairs, it just smells so good. 